In order to set up email to case on demand, what we're first going to do is hit this setup option in the top right. And that's going to take us into our admin setup area. Once we're here, I can type in email dash two. And you see that the email to case option pops up here underneath service. So if I click on this, I'll be taken to the back setup area. And uh, what we'll want to focus on is this today for on-demand email to case. Uh, there is another option where you can download the case agent and set up um, you know, the case agent behind your firewall. Uh, for the most part, many B2B, um, SMB to kind of mid-market um, companies have been using the email to case on demand. Uh, this is a feature that I don't see as utilized um, nowadays, uh, but you can see here that it's still an option. So for now, we're just focusing on uh, the on-demand email to case. So once I'm in here, you'll see that I've got some options um, here that I can turn on or off. The ones that are on by default are set case source to email, uh, which is pretty straightforward. That means once I have an email address that's a routing address, when an email hits that inbox and it gets transferred to Salesforce, that the source is gonna be set to email. Uh, down below, when it talks about a thread ID, a thread ID is just a, a string of characters. It's a unique ID that identifies that uh, kind of interaction with individual or group who sent the first email. So these are important to leave on because you want a thread ID on that correspondence. Uh, you know, the first part of dealing with a case in Salesforce is receiving the case. And then the second part is you might be sending some emails back and forth out of Salesforce. And the thread ID uh, in, within that email body in the subject is going to link all that correspondence to the same case. Uh, so this is important just because you want to have that, the, the actual string of the case and all the interactions related to the same case. Uh, if we go down further, you can see this new button here for routing addresses. So if I click new here, uh, this is where I can type in uh, the name for my routing address. So for here, I'll just say Salesforce training. And then for the email address, I'll say training at growwithcs.com. Uh, you can create a task if you want upon creating a case. It's not something you have to do. You can just click off this button and uh, direct the task uh, status, whatever you need that to be. Um, and then you also have the choice to save email headers and then accept emails from. So for some reason, if you're setting up a routing address that should only accept uh, cases from a few certain addresses, you can plug them in here separated by commas and uh, it'll actually take that direction. You can also hover over both these help icons uh, if you want to read a little bit further into this uh, and it'll give you some direction on, on what you should do. And down here, uh, we have the options to set the case settings. So whatever gets imported, I guess to say, or created from this email to case, uh, it needs to get assigned to an owner. It needs to have a case priority set and a case origin. So for a case owner, you can set this for a user or a queue. Uh, and the way you look for it is just by clicking this little magnifying glass. Then uh, you set the priority here. Whatever values you change in the case priority field will populate here. And then you also set your case origin. Uh, so we can just set that to email or however you need it um, identified within your system. So if I hit save here, and first let me um, assign this to myself. We're gonna go back to email the case setup. So you can see that I have a routing name, a case owner, the email address, and then verification is pending, and then an email service address. So you've done all the work in Salesforce for now, and really the, the rest of the work that needs to get done is just a you need to set up a forwarding process in your email admin settings from this email to the email service address, which will eventually populate here. Uh, so I'll pay, paste a document in the description of this video showing you, um, you know, the directions and you can easily pass that off to IT or someone 
uh, that can get that done for you.